Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in this video we have got the Alt Rider Universal Header Guards, Guards, Universal, but they do fit the R1200GS Water Cooled Adventure. R114-5-1109. There are lots of um, header guards out there. I trust Alt Rider's products and they say it fits the GS, so I bought it. Uh, these are on Amazon or Alt-Riders website. I think they're like $87 shipped. Not too bad. Let's get into it. So you've got two clamps here, both flathead or socket, basically. As for instructions go, I don't think we have to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Contents include two header guards, four clamps, and quarter-inch driver and 8mm sockets, which you need to install it. Works for the Tiger 800 or the R1200 GS, and oh, 800 GS too. So before we get started, first things first, I've learned instead of uh, the instructions are to take off one of these links, I'm going to take off two of them. Actually, that's what, in my opinion, the uh, the best fitment is taking off two of them. So let's go ahead and do that now. You just bend this back and forth, all the way back, and all the way forth. And uh, there it is. File that off so it's a lot cleaner. Next up, with your two links, you're going to unhinge both of these because they have to go around the headers. If you have an alt writer skid plate, go ahead and drop that down just using the, uh, the size 6 L key and uh, drop those down. Don't forget to reapply thread locker and torque it to 10 Newton meters when you're done with this install. If you don't have the skid plate on, well, no problem then. You're going to be fine. I made the mistake on my last bike, actually, of um, starting the headers too low, which was a waste of space because this is all protected by the skid plate. So you really only need to cover to there. Now that both of our clamps are loosened up, you're actually going to loop these through these two holes right here. So for this side, for the top side, we want to have our, our bolt facing down behind the header. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend this out almost into a uh, perfect fulcrum. Then we're going to take this, we're going to run it through like this. And then run it back through the other side. like that, and then bring it straight through, just like that. Same thing on the other side, on the bottom side. The bottom side we want the, let's see, how do we want that? I think we're going to want it like this, on the direction, so we'll bend that out. Bring this up through. Bring this side down and then push it straight through like that. Now you can see these just started, they're through, so nice and clean there. Just push these and get them to spread out to fill up the whole space on top and bottom. We'll do the bottom one first. So, bring this through here. Sorry if the hands are in the way. I'm going to shape this around the header. And you're basically just throwing this in like you would a normal clamp. So once that threading there is started, then we can focus on the top one. So bring the header up here, header guard I mean. Put that in, hold it in place. Good, now we're gonna take a step back and we're gonna kinda look at the guard and make sure that we're happy with where it's located. So do a kind of test fit here where you bring this up. Make sure this is gonna be covering the uh, bottom of the header guard there. And then we're gonna make sure it's straight on 
and that these are all kind of bent to follow the shape of the guard. From there, you can go ahead and grab your, your socket and tighten this all the way down. Holding that in place against the bottom of the guard because you want it to keep its form while you tighten it. You can over torque these things. So once it stops turning, just back off. Now, last of all, I like to do is grab a small, normal wrench, push these down, and basically squeeze them around the header a little bit. Don't overdo it, just, just kind of try to get this to form a bit better around, because they are made to bend. There we go. And we are done. Let's get the uh, skid plate back. So, um, you know, these obviously protect down into the skid plate just a little bit right at the tippy top of the headers. Um, on the scale of do you need these, the way I ride off road behind people with lots of gravel and rocks, um, the reason why I don't have a fender extender on is because, um, it just gets chock full of rocks. However, um, because this fender is more street biased versus off-road. Um, however, um, when we are off-road, uh, lots of rocks will hit the headers. You'll hear ping, 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 and that's just rocks hitting the headers, basically. Um, on my last two GSAs, the exhaust headers were dented and dimpled pretty bad. There were no cracks. There was no rusting. Uh, no damage as far as I could see. Maybe over a few years... That's a different story, but um, you know, if you're going to be off-road, and only if you're going to be off-road, most likely, uh, the header guards are really nice to have. But um, these are stainless steel headers. The the chances of them cracking open it's pretty low. Um, but these will just protect them for many years. Uh, they take away from the look of the boxer motor a little bit. Uh, it seems like BMW itself keeps making their headers swoop lower and lower and tucked closer and closer to the engine over time. Um, but these definitely work. Alt-Rider is an exclusive maker of these. There's lots of options. I just like Alt-Rider stuff. Let's look, at, let's look at the other side real quick. So here's the driver's side, left side. So you can see how they go in here. There's our mount right there. All the way to the top. Pretty nice stuff, actually. So I'll leave these below. Thanks for watching. Eight millimeter socket. Um, a little bit of time. I would say install these before you install the skid plate. Not the skid plate, it's hard to remove, but saves you about half an hour of lining up bolts again and screwing it back in. All right guys, thanks for watching, ride safe.